It's Friday. It's uh, what's today's date? It's the 14th of May, yes, it is. 2010. I'm driving to work in a ZDX. I got a call about a month ago to do a surround sound version of Band of Horses' new album, which something I jumped at, you know, it was just, I love doing new, newer bands. So, you know, I mean, they, they wanted to have the opportunity to record some songs and uh, do it differently than they've done it in the past. We're doing it analog. So we're taking the opportunity to go in the studio and record today. Um, Clinton Studios has been around for, uh, my guess would be about 25 years. Uh, the guy who owns it used to be my assistant, and when he started engineering, he got out on his own and decided to build this room. And it's, you know, it's one of the premier rooms in New York. I've done so much stuff here. I mean, way back, I did things like George Benson. I've done Steely Dan there. So, I'm always nervous working with new bands. So, you know, even though I'm you know, I get nervous in these situations. I'm really looking forward to what we're going to do today. And we're doing it analog, so, you know, what more can you ask for? It's just, it's a great scenario. The elevator in the hotel lobby has a lazy door. The men inside is going to a hotel room. JC their manager right. uh, called up and uh, asked if uh, if I you know, right. you know I said what are you kidding yeah right. of course well, when he first brought up Elliot's name I was like oh my god yeah that'd be amazing because I've been a fan of Elliot's work for a long a long long time so we were like yeah that sounds like an awesome idea so everybody's live okay great vocals are going to be live everything's live Perfect. okay yeah. yeah I think that the guys were no stoked about doing it live too so great kind of mentioned it last night okay so so I like it. I feel like we're breaking boundaries when everybody's going to the day and age of less and less quality. We're going completely live to tape, which is bizarre for bands to do nowadays. Yeah, so uncommon. You guys ready? I think so. I think so, yeah. I'm going to roll. We had a chance to listen to the 5.1 mix in the in the car, and it was it was so unbelievable. We were in our hotel; we had just arrived, and they brought us down and put it on. And um, I was like, "Holy moly!" Like all of this stuff was coming from the back, the, fr the front, and left. And I was sitting in the driver's seat at the time, so I got to really hear the the whole full spectrum. And the first thing I noticed is how much depth it had, and how I felt like I was inside of it, which is really awesome. That's the only reason I do this stuff, is to, is to hear him say that. You know, the, if they like it, the fans will love it. What I look for when I'm mixing is ear candy, you know, just stuff that you can, you can put, you know, that if somebody sit like where, where you are sitting, you know, if it ma makes your head turn around a little bit to go, well, what was that, yeah. you know? That's what it's about. <laughs> 